I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these big circular flower seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you're a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here you could skip this intro and go directly through the work itself because I have timestamps but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages i will expect pictures of your work usually i share them on my community tab on youtube you will also find in description matching and similar tutorials that you could check out and a link to my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 oz seed beads or you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want. These are earring findings in black color. You could use other color of your choice. This is Nymo Nylon Thread, which is size D, so the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult bits to pull my needle. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And what I'm going to pick up are 24 black beads. Okay, and I have my 24 here. 6 times 4 it's 24 and I'm sliding those down and I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making my knot I could do it faster but now I will do it slowly okay I take this tail thread and I go twice through the loop I'm making here and I pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and now i will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and i make sure i'm between those two bits where i started my knot from and i pull okay then i'm going through some beads in this direction okay i pull tight now guys, what I'm going to do next is pick up three black beads and as I'm exiting here through this black one, I skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. You see, this is what I do. And I pull. Then again, I take three beads, three of them skip the one that's on my way and go through the following okay you see where i'm exiting you see where i'm going skipping one beat on my way okay then i do this and in my next step i do the same thing take three skip the one that's on my way go through the next and pull and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, three. Like this. Now I will continue off camera and meet you here at the last step to show you how I'm making it. Okay guys, and as I continue this process, here I am at my last step where I take my last three beads. And as I'm exiting here through this one, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through this here. You see this one. Okay. Don't worry that at this stage these beads move up and down. We'll fix it in the next row. 
okay and for my next row what i need is go in this direction and exit through one of the bits that is sticking out the most okay now i'm here and i'm going to take two yellow seed beads and go again through this one then again take two and go through the following that is sticking out the most then two again go here and i'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end and it's really pleasant and really easy this row okay meet you here okay guys and here i am with my last two yellow beads I have them here and with this I'm finishing this row and in my next step I'm going here in these two yellow beads just like this and I'm taking a yellow a red and a yellow like this and I go back through these two yellow beads like this then I go through the black and through the next two yellows and I take the same thing a yellow a red and a yellow go back and if you can in one movement exit directly through the next two yellow beads okay and i'm showing again a yellow a red a yellow go back like this just to save time i'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay go back like this now i will continue this and meet you here guys okay and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row just like this then what i want to do is go like this through this yellow flower then i want to go here through this yellow which is next to the red and now guys it's not obligatory but i prefer to flip my work like this because it's easier for me to go in this direction again it's not obligatory and if it's easier for you you could definitely go in the other direction i'm taking three yellows i'm skipping the red here and i'm going through the following yellow then I take one black and I go in the next yellow. In my next step, I take three yellows, skip the red and go through the yellow. Then again, a black one, go here. And I'm going to take three yellows. And this row, guys, is really pleasant and really easy because I'm finishing my flowers and I'm adding splitters between them to make them look better. Okay, so now I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. Pay attention where I'm going when I add it. Okay now what i do in my next row is go here through these top three yellow beads that i just added and i'm going to take two black beads and go in the same place through the top three yellow beads that i added in my previous row Then again two blacks and top three yellows. Two blacks, top three yellow beads. Two blacks. And top three yellows okay and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here 
and now I guys I add my last two black beads I add them the same way as I did before and what I do next is go through these two next black beads through the yellow and after that through the blacks and then I take three black beads and I go back in circle through these two like that then my goal guys is to reach the next two black beads and I'm reaching them like this okay and I'm going to take three and I go back through these two and through as many yellow beads as you can in this direction okay and I'll show you one more time okay and i will continue these guys until i'm up to here and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i'm here when i where i have my last two beads from this row and what i want to do is go like this in this direction okay now i will go also through all of those beads like this then I will go through those black beads here, through the three black beads. And now guys, you know me, I prefer to flip, it's not obligatory, because I want to go in this direction. And what I do is that I take one black bead and I go through this yellow that's sticking out the most. And then I take one more black bead and I go through this black and if you can go through all of the blacks here in one movement okay then I take one black go through the yellow one black and go through the blacks if you can do this in one movement you could do it like I'm doing it now it's two movements and then I take a black and go through the yellow and a black and go through the blacks. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. You see what I'm doing? Absolutely the same thing. And now I'm exiting here through the bead that is sticking out the most. Here I have two and here I have two and this one is sticking out the most. And I'm going to take three yellows and I'm going back in circle through this black like this then what i do is that i go in this direction and i exit through this one that's sticking out here and i take three go back and if you can go through some beads in this direction just to save time then I will go here through the yellow and through the next three black beads. Oops, I went through two and now I will also go through the third one, which is my middle bead here. The middle of the five beads that I have here. And I go like this. Okay, guys, and I will continue this adding three beads here at this edges and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and here i am where i add my last three yellow beads from this row and what i'm going to do now is show you how to attach your earring finding 
Okay, I'm exiting here out of this bead that's sticking out the most. I'm taking one of my earring finding and I'm going to take a seed bead, my earring finding and a seed bead, black color seed beads. And what I do is that I go back like this in circle. Okay, and then what I do is that I reinforce. When you attach your earring finding like this, make sure you close it really well with your pliers, otherwise it might slip through, the thread could slip through it, through the hole of it. And now I'm reinforcing. do it as many times as you think you can go through it to be more secure okay and when you're ready it's time to make a knot and i'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop i've made and pull and then you could repeat this knot several more times when you're ready go through the the next one or two beads and then cut your thread and never cut next to a knot okay so now my earring is ready okay guys and now now my big circular flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.